secondary tattoos, I'm going to show you how to make a Persian burger using my Persian Kubedet Kebab seasoning. Let's get straight into it. Alright guys, so to make actual burger patties, there's only two ingredients we'll need. So I've got 500 grams of lamb mince here. Now you can also do this with beef mince if you like, or you can do 50-50, half lamb, half beef. Other ingredient we'll need is my own Kubedet Kebab seasoning. So if you haven't already got this, you can buy it off my website. So basically, every spoon is enough for 500 grams of mince. So we'll just add in one heat tablespoon like that. Close it up, and all we're going to do is mix well. Okay, and that's looking pretty good. So we'll just put our mince into the fridge for about 10 minutes while we get everything else ready. Alright guys, so next we're going to make our sauce. So I'm just going to do a very simple yogurt sauce for this. So just into a bowl here, I've got a quarter cup of Greek style yogurt. To this we're just going to add a teaspoon of salt, the juice of half a lemon, a couple of cracks of black pepper, one teaspoon of dried mint, and finally a teaspoon of red sumac. And we're just going to give this a mix together, get that well combined. Just like so. So guys, I've just brought our mints back. So I'm going to make patties that are about 180 grams each. So with 500 grams, you get almost about three. So we're just going to portion it. It doesn't have to be exact. Just try and get it close. So we'll just do one for now, and I'll do the rest of it. So just in our hands, we want to roll it into a nice circle. Then between your palms, start to gently flatten it but make sure it keeps its shape. And all we're gonna do is just press down like that and flatten them. So you basically want something like that. So I'm just gonna leave this on a plate now. And once you do put on a plate like that, you can actually push down and try and get it into a perfect circle if you like. Of course it's not necessary, it's just for show. All right, so let's preheat our grill now. All right, so in my case, I am char grilling these. So what we're gonna do is put the patty straight on our grill. So I'm cooking at a medium to high temperature. This will only take roughly four to five minutes to cook. So guys, once you see the sides start to brown like that, that indicates that that side is cooked. So what we're gonna do is get a spatula, carefully flip it over. And look at those beautiful grill lines. So we'll cook for the equivalent amount of time on this side too. So guys, in my case, I'm going to serve this up with chips on the side. So if you're doing that, go ahead and start cooking your chips. What I'm going to do now is put our buns on the grill too. So I'm just using a Turkish bread roll for this. Alright, so our buns are nice and toasted as you can see. Beautiful. So we'll take that off the grill. I will keep it right here so it stays warm. Alright guys, so that's looking pretty good, so we'll start to assemble this now. So we've got our bun here. I'm going to place some of our sauce on the top and the bottom. Give that a nice spread. And we'll place some lettuce on the bottom of our bun, just like so. And what I'm going to do is place our tomatoes on top of our burger patty. Along with some sliced red onions. And the main ingredient is a slice of cheese. What I like to do in the restaurant is always assemble the burgers on the grill. Because you know what? Look at that. Look at that cheese just melt. Alright, beautiful. I think it's time to serve this. So the meat itself is nice and firm. So it's sitting at about medium now and I'm happy with that. So using our spatula, we'll tack that off right onto our bun, just like that. And just look at that. Top goes straight on top. That's what you call a burger. Let's uh, So we'll place our burger on our plate, just like that. Just look at how beautiful that looks. And of course we've got our fries, or your chips here. And we're gonna season this with my chicken sauce. So you can buy this on my website too. We'll sprinkle some of that on. Give it a good shake, right next to it, just like that. There we have it. 
So guys, this was made possible with both of these products right here. Both are available on my website, www.henryshowtos.com. These are for shipping worldwide as well. And you can use the promo code ILOVEKEBAB to get 10% off. So I'll leave those links in the description too. And that's all there is to it guys. So both those seasonings are available on my website. Make sure you give them a try. Trust me, you'll absolutely love it and you'll be coming back for more. Trust me. That's a burger. And the fries are just amazing. I'll see you all next time.